life. I didn't even deal one point of damage to him. Oh, cool. So he's got Simic uh, Uro. I'll keep this. Like, so I could cast the Murderous Rider. Hopefully, we get something in their graveyard, which. I actually would like some grave hate in this game with the uh, escape. So, I actually have a deck based off of him. That 6-6, six, six, man, and those triggers. So he gets to play an extra land, and he can gain three life. So he doesn't come down on turn three. He's got to get sacrificed right away. But he gets to put down another land, and he gets to uh, gain three life and draw a card. It's a lot of value for three mana. All right, we missed the land drop, unfortunately, but I think uh, next turn we can start doing some things. We'll do uh, maybe Rankle or uh, Trees. We got we got like three of our main threats. Oh, so he sent them to the command zone, I guess? So he's going to cost 7 now. That's, that's a lot. I think we hold back and start making tokens. It's never bad to play Ashia, especially when he's tapped out against a blue deck. You're not worried about the counter spell. There are no free counters in Brawl. Uh, in, in Commander, you have to worry about things like Force of Will and uh, what the new Force of Negation, uh, Pact of Negation. All those counter spells could be in a blue player's hand and they cause zero mana. But again, I'm also tapping out. So he took the opportunity to play his entire deck. He's drawing a lot of cards. I, it almost makes me look like it's um, that he's got uh, Fast's Oracle or the Jace. All your fears are given form. And. We have three mana. I guess we we'll see what he does. If he if he goes to attack with anyone, we're, we're just gonna kill him. Probably with the murderous rider. Unfortunately, right, we'll just make him sacrifice. So that's that's better than targeting. It's his only enchantment, so he's gonna have to pick her. Yeah, it, it, he's literally just trying to draw cards. This card is dead in his hand. Alright, he finally put him in the graveyard. I love your desperation. Um. 
This is a tough spot. I, I don't know what's uh, what's better to do here. You either throw down the threat and you have one mana open. Or you just save all this interaction. Oh, that hurts. There's this Thassa's Oracle. I wouldn't be surprised if he quits here. If that's his win con, that's really what he was trying to do. If he plays a 6-6, I'm going to counter it. If uh, he doesn't, then I'm... Well, if he attacks with the, the Seer, I'll probably kill it with the Rider. Um, I don't think I can counter it. If X equals 2, 2, 4, 8. I, he took Ashiok as well. You cannot intimidate me. So he kind of got rid of our board, but we uh. Sorry to get rid of his. Curse your breath fade into the shadow. So we're one man out of the way from being able to recast her and kinda of start over, so we might as well start doing some random beats. Can't really hold back mana. The Brazen Borrower is nice, but you need some kind of board presence when he's got this. He's got like nine lands out. I think his game plan switched when I exiled this Thassa's Oracle. And the Hydroid Crisis, which is another really good card. What's up guys, if you're just joining us, give us a follow, um, Couch Quest Podcast, YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitch, Instagram. We're playing Brothers Guild Hero right now, which is... Um, fun format it's it was unlocked for the quarantine I've been uh, home from work since last Friday shit is getting crazy man heard there was 919 corona deaths in Italy um, yeah so I'm gonna return this to his hand and then counter it the next turn because I'm getting sick of this mill. Especially, I, I, he put a lot of good cards in the graveyard for me. So. 
so... Kind of looking for a land here. There we go. I wonder if he's going to have a counter spell for the counter spell. These hydros, they're always big beasties. I think he was trying to bait the counter spell here. I think this is like his backup win condition. I think the fastest oracle is the first plan. The rest of the cards in his deck just seem to draw other cards. The unfortunate situation is my life total is so low. We can at least uh, throw down Ashiok this turn. Hopefully he didn't save mana for negate. All right, this helps. Um. Unfortunately, uh, he's going to get to kill Rankle. So I'm going to have to kill that Hydra. I think that's the only way I last another turn. some blockers. The borrower can only block flying, so I'll have to block here and here, I guess. Sorry, I'm trying to keep an eye on Twitch. Past, present, and future. Uh, I have just the trick for this. I don't know if the sound cuts out when I switch over.
Yeah, he's, he's, I think he's trying to mill me. Maybe we can mill him first. All your fears are given form. He's got 20 cards. I got 31. So let's see. Uh, maybe we could do something here. He's looking for something. I, maybe that Jace wielder of mysteries that allows him to win the game based on having zero cards. But if you notice, he is struggling because... His turns are taking a lot longer. That would have been nice. Mission briefing. I could have used something in the graveyard. I wish there was some better way to utilize it. I think he's getting... Uh, Frustrated trying to see if I quit. Those would have been nice too. More grave hate. Keep an open mind. He's just got all the mana in the world. Just tuning in, don't forget to say what's up in the chat. Talk about something that you want to talk about. At this point, I, I'm really just trying to stop him from milling all the cards I need out of my deck. He's a smart player. I have enough for a counter spell here, or I could Lazatep plating, which might be the best option if he goes to remove something. I never know if they mess up with this card, Atris, Atris. He uh, he gave me three to zero. Like you could at least make me pick. Plating so he can he has to stop targeting me. I, I'll have hexproof this turn. I still have enough for the negate.
Remember, we're playing Brawl, so there's only one copy of each card. At this point, his life is, is like, meaningless. So... I'm trying to get that library low. I, I don't like going for a mill win. It takes so long, but... There's really not much I can do. This is the scenario where I, that I wanted, though. I wanted to get multiple nightmare tokens out. Given form. So we'll counter that. He's trying to get rid of one of my tokens. I actually wanted cards out of my hand because I wanted to use this. To draw a card and it, uh, you'll lose life equal to the number of cards in your hand so I'm gonna lose three life here oh that was stupid I forgot about Narset she's been out so long Intense match. If uh, if you are familiar with the game, we're kind of going back and forth here. I gotta hold blocks, unfortunately, because otherwise he could definitely kill Elspeth. Erebos intervention, more removal gone. That would have been nice. That would have been some life gain. I don't think I have anything to utilize my graveyard. Anything left. The mission briefing's gone. I think here, I uh, maybe ultimate Ashiok. Or I could just keep going with the slow burn. That's frustrating. He's got all the mana in the world, so uh, this is a counter spell, but you'll have to pay three mana. He's got 12 open. 
So I think that's what I have to do is ultimate. He, he might scoop. Uh, it's 12 cards to 8. He could definitely mill me faster with those nightmares gone. spells the X spells So we'll take an 8-7, we'll get rid of a 6-6. Six, six. We still have our Ashiok, and we have an enchantment now. Probably should have countered it just to 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 get him to mill a little bit. But this is like the game that never ends, man. I think here maybe I draw two cards with the locket. Oh, I can only draw one a turn, so maybe I'll take the life loss. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think he's trying to see if I quit. But this is all about perseverance. if I could save him. That was a card that looked pretty good. Yep, we saved him. We saved our 8-7. He's got 8 cards left. You, you gotta wonder how many of them actually mean anything. Oh, I got one basic land left in my deck. Unfortunately, I can't even make him sacrifice a creature because he'll sacrifice his commander and I, I kind of have his commander um, stolen. Like, he, he's useless right now. He's a 0-1 with no abilities. We turned him into this 
fat fish. That's why I let him just attack. I, I really, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to draw some cards here. I don't know how much. I have six left. He's got five. But uh, what I don't think... We'll make him pay for it. More good cards, man. Could have at least got rid of that Narset. So we got two cards left. If he attacks here, I'm going to double block and we'll exile four cards. Alright. He's getting smarter. Is a is a land. But we got the guy back. We can exile the card that's milling us. And that's it, man. Next turn we'll be able to if he attacks, we're good. As long as he doesn't mill me. to get a screenshot of this man Triple mill, six cards. Put the rest of his library away, and then that should be it. I thought that would have been it. Well, now he's going to draw a card. And that kills him. 
That was an intense game.